Greetings, everybody. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo. Welcome to episode 29 of my Minecraft survival series. That is not Lobo. That is Jack. I, I am Lobo. I don't know why Jack was doing my intro for me. Um, but yeah, welcome to episode 29 of my Minecraft survival series. Last episode, we built this pumpkin farm here, which is working better than I... I just really wanted to see Jab ju Jack jump. That's the only reason I was in here. But yeah, it's working better than I thought it would, so that's great. That's nice to know. Um, so we have the, the farm up and running. We have the storage system all working. That's all set up. The only thing we really have to do is uh, get the actual structure built to house this thing. Um, so that's our goal for this episode. So as soon as I get popped back over this fence, we will get started on that. <laughs> Ow! Okay, let's, let's do this. So as far as our block palette goes leave me alone llama as far as our block palette goes you know we discussed this last episode i want to use the uh the wood or the oak logs right here as kind of the framework for the building um so that's going to be our framework as far as the actual walls uh you know i'm going to use these oak stairs that's gonna be our primary building block for the for the actual walls we'll have the spruce in here as kind of an accent and you guys know like i like to use stairs for you know especially on wood builds to give it a little bit of extra depth um and that's especially true when we, we have size restraints like when we can't have the the actual framework sticking out of the build like this gives us that little bit of extra depth so i think that'll be cool i also want to have you know since this is our farming area i want to have farming type stuff in here so i'm gonna plant some seeds let some wheat grow um we'll have this nice golden color for the landscape i'm not gonna do too much of the landscape today uh but i think you know we'll at least get a little bit done just so i can give you an idea uh the roof that's where things are going to get changed up a little bit because i've never built with full blocks before and i've been thinking about using this green terracotta right here uh to try to experiment with the roof you know i want to i want to experiment with different like styles of building because if you come over here with me to the luna business district you can see that we've been experimenting with uh different build styles this whole time really and that's because you know i am i'm trying to develop my own my own style you know i want to have my own style developed and i think on the outskirts of the city is probably going to be the best place to do that the outskirts of the city the business district you know we'll we'll handle all that before we head over into the new moon bay area where I want to have a more developed style. I want it to be more uniform, more, co more cohesive in that area uh, because that area needs that to happen. Like this over here, it, this can be like this, you know, it can be, it can be more varied. And that's not to suggest it's like disjointed or nothing fits in because it's all going to go together. I promise you that, um, you know, everything's going to kind of, you know, flow, but you know, over here, I want it to be more just like one, one style of building one, you know, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, let me head back over here, you know, cause we're getting off track. We are getting off track. I need to head back over here. We need to get back on track for our project today. I'm going to go ahead and get the framework of this build in. And, you know, I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes once I get some logs in place. All right, so we got some logs up. We also have our floor down here. We use birch for that. This is the general shape of our first story. So I'm going to pop back here, just have a quick peek at it, make sure it's okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's only really to store our pumpkins. That's that's all this build is, is for anyway. Um, since this is a farm area, I was considering using red, but, you know, I like to use blue glass when I, when I use windows. And I think this building is definitely going to have windows in it. So I think those just wouldn't go together that well um i don't know i said i was going to experiment with different build styles what i what i meant was you know i'm going to introduce one aspect at a time like if we're going to do the roof today that's what i'm going to change up for today if i tear the roof off that's one thing if i tear the whole building down that's something else completely uh you know we'll experiment with other stuff back there but for today you know we're just going to introduce that one new aspect and that's a good way to learn you know you take it one step at a time um so yeah i think i think this is a pretty decent shape for the first floor of our building i'm going to go ahead and get this thing shaped out a little bit better and I'll meet you back here in just a few. All right, there's a wall. There's a wall. Uh, th that's the only one that's actually in place because you know I kind of I kind of ran across something that I wanted to show you guys, um, and I can't show you from back here. So let's go around to the the interior of the building through the front entrance right here. Um, and this is you know I got some pads in place. Well, I think the pads might be in this area. Um, you know those are subject to change depending on what we build out here. Uh, let me just show you around with what I got so far. So this path will lead up to our building right here. Okay, so we'll come up here. The front door will I don't know be somewhere in, in here-ish maybe towards the middle yeah and then uh we'll probably have maybe a guy sitting up here like you know if we can get a farmer or somebody to sell our pumpkins to we might have him up here somewhere you know that'd be convenient for you know when our chests do start filling up we can start selling stuff uh that's not why i wanted to show you um you know there's nothing too complicated here but like how how this is going to go there's going to be no room in here for stairs going to a second floor and i do want a second floor so what i was thinking was 
that this is our this leads out to our basement, right? This ladder just leads down to our maintenance area in our basement. Um, so you know we worked in here a lot last episode, but I think we can probably just continue the ladder up and just have the second floor be access for us only. So just do a ladder up the back here, you know, and this will go from our maintenance area up to the uh, up to the second floor, and that can be we can just use that for you know kind of a storage area and a place to sleep while we're working in. I am stuck, <laughs> but yeah, we can use that as kind of our little little home away from home back here when we're working in the farming area. Um, so I think that'll be good. Um, and now the reason I'm talking about this is because I want to get the second floor framed out. I want to know how I'm going to build the second floor. And uh, you know, we talked about how size is an issue, and a lot of people go with a fatter second story than a first story. And I think I'm going to try that out there. Um, I don't want to try it here though because I've never actually built that way. I think the reason why, like you know, it makes sense to me that it would probably give more depth to the build having it stick out a little bit because when it goes in and you're looking up at it, it kind of looks a little flat. Um, but I think I am going to go in here because that's the way I'm seeing it in my head. You know, we'll just have it kind of kind of slope into the second story and then we'll have the roof on top of that. And I think that'll be good. Um, and I think to to alleviate our size issue, our room issue, uh, what we might do is just have the back of it just be completely flat. And since this is facing the fence or the city wall, like you're not really going to see it. And I honestly don't think it'll look too bad, even if, you know, it is flat because we can work in details and stuff, you know? So let's go ahead and pop these up here. We'll get this up to kind of like the height we want it at, um, right there. I don't know, we might go up a little bit higher than that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it does have to be flat if we're gonna have the ladder back here anyway, you know, that's gonna be our way to get up here. Um, so, nope, definitely has to be higher than that. Okay, well, let me go ahead and get this side up too, and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. I know a lot of people plan their builds out in creative. I like to build in survival kind of without a plan because, you know, there's this whole problem solving aspect that, that gets added to it. You know, right now I'm seeing a very symmetrical build, especially once we get the uh, the second story in there, that's gonna be super, super symmetrical. Um, so I think to break up that symmetricality, that's gonna be another issue we have to face because originally the path was gonna lead like right up here to the center and we were gonna have our door right here. Um, so that's gonna just, I don't know, I don't, I don't like that. Um, so we wanna throw off the symmetricality a little bit. So I think what we might do is kind of divert the path up to probably the left here and uh, we'll have the door in here on this side so we'll go ahead and bust this out real quick see how that looks um and then we can maybe put in a window right here and we could actually like have this since we're gonna have a shopkeeper in here we could actually use this window as kind of like a, a countertop area to the outdoors to where you know i don't know i don't know let's see how it looks first before we before we make those kind of decisions uh, yeah, I think I think something like that could work. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know put these back in here though. I'm not 100% on that, but you know this is just kind of the stuff that goes through my head as I'm as I'm building. Before we get the second floor all framed out, we need to figure out how we're gonna have our roof like kind of slanted into it. So I know we're gonna have to come off the edge like this. And the thing is, like it's it's. it's what was I thinking with that one? Okay, anyway, uh, it's going to be really hard to do that with full blocks, especially considering I don't want it to be a steep roof. I want it to be the opposite of that. So I was thinking we have stone go up like that, and we'll probably put our terracotta in here just like this and do like maybe kind of a two-tone roof. And that's something I don't think I've I've really done before, is it? No, I haven't really experimented with two-tone roofs, so this will be another first. Uh, so we'll have like the, the stone go up like this. We'll probably put just to have it maintain that same trajectory, uh, if that's the right word. Uh, we'll have another stone slab right there. We'll break this one and we'll put our another terracotta right behind that. And that'll probably be like how we, like the, the shape of our roof, maybe if we decide we like it. Um, let me get some more in here. It's gonna be like super stripey, isn't it? It's gonna be like really stripey. So that might not actually look good. We, ah, see this, this problems. Problems when you try new stuff. Okay, we'll make it work. Or we'll make something work. Ah, oh, look at you and your shiny gold armor. Can I get some of that for my scarecrows? Nope. Oh, nope, guess not. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to check out the angle of this roof real quick and make sure this is gonna be the you know the right angle for it. And I think that is like how I want that's the the slope I want. Um, so if it does end up looking stripey, if it ends up looking like Freddy Krueger's sweatshirt, we'll just uh, swap out the green for stone if, if it comes to that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Now we need to think about how the roof is gonna gonna connect and look from all angles, including the side where the back is gonna look super flat if we leave it the way it is. So I think what we need to do is throw slime into our into our pumpkin chest. I think that's a great idea. Uh, no, <laughs> what we need to do is kind of have it have the roof lean towards the middle. 
so that will give us a little bit extra depth looking at it from the side. You know, it won't look like the back is just one flat plane. Um, so if we throw another stair in like this, we can put our terracotta back where it was. And that'll kind of give us this little angle looking up at our roof. So if we throw some some wall in behind this, like that'll probably give you a better idea of what I'm actually talking about here. Um, as we throw all the rest of our slime into this, I can actually probably take that slime out. It's it's not really there for any real purpose. I don't like the way that connects though. I don't. Um, so if I throw another stair in the back here, that should disconnect it, uh, but also give us like a weird little trench thing. I don't know if I like that either. Um, hmm. What am I going to do about that? Anyway, we'll, we'll figure that out later. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the, the slant of the roof uh, and how it's going to connect to the, the second floor. And I think that that will give us a little bit of wall showing, which is going to be good for detail as well. So I think we're going to do something like this. Okay, so we're going to play around with this side for a little bit now that we have the roof kind of halfway built in. Um, so I think what we're probably going to have to do is put that right there and we'll have to build up our framework off of that to come into the second floor. Just keep even with the back wall over there. Um, so up here we could probably put this one in right here. And I think that's going to be good from the side and from the front. That's that's not going to work at all, is it? No, that's too far forward. Um, hmm. All right, so I guess we're just going to have to move it back one. I mean, that seems like the most logical conclusion, right? We just move it back one space and we can have it just like that. And n no, 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 I am, I am way over complicating this. I am is okay. Here's the thing. It, it's just like, if we look at the back here, this is just one log. The framework is only one log going up, which is all we need. We can just put our one log right in here, even with the back and call it a day. Uh, so I think that's good. That'll keep it symmetrical on both sides. Um, no, no, it doesn't. Ah, okay. Well, so I went ahead and filled in the wall, just just hoping that you know it's going to help me, you know, visualize it a little bit better and see if if it's wonky. It's wonky. Also, it's very boring with just the single log up there. Um, I wouldn't be if I didn't compare it to the bottom, but compared to the bottom, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to do something about this. Let's go ahead and just double up on these corner logs in the front. That's gonna give us that extra depth that we want in our build anyway. So we'll do that and we'll also bring this wall across. Just to, I, wanna, I wanna get a good feel for how it's gonna look from the front as well. And if we're doing that to the front, we can also do it to the back. So what we're gonna do is move this back log over just to, what is stopping me? Okay. <laughs> so what we need to, oh my gosh, okay. So we'll bring this wall up right here. Uh, no, we need to go down one and then we need to bring that that cobble over here and put that up there like that Okay, and then we can bring this log up here And that's going to give us that that same thing that same effect on the back and on the side here Hopefully so let's take a peek at it and uh, fingers crossed This is what we want and yes why did that take me so long? That's okay. We got it. We got it guys. You may be asking yourself what's up with the buttons on the roof. So the purpose of the buttons is to keep the, the roof non spawnable. Basically that's the main purpose. The other purpose is to kind of try to tie it in a little bit better with the stone. I don't know if it works. Uh, there's, there's other options too. There's carpet, there's pressure plates, there's, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, right now I'm going to stick with the buttons. We'll see how we feel about it. You know, a little bit later. I did a bad thing. I turned around made eye contact with the wrong guy <laughs> and now he is super mad at me these guys are trying to get in it's just it's i, I want to get down and i can't and this guy just won't leave me alone and ah too bad you can't anger creepers remotely like you can't just stare at them and get them all angry and boom they explode no it doesn't work like that so um yeah it, it looks like i might be stuck up here for a little while well as long as i'm up here i figure i might as well go ahead and get some I don't like this. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. To do what I want to do with this roof, I'm going to need, like, you know, a full block right here. Like, I, I kind of want to raise this up a little bit and then have it kind of peek over and maybe round off the top a little bit. Um, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, you know, kind of, kind of this shape right here. Uh, the thing is, I need a full block to do that, and I, I need to run back to the storage shed and get that. So I think I might just have to brave the trip over there and... The thing is, I can I can hear this guy. 
I can hear him waiting for me. And he was like, oh, okay, he's relentless. Let's just, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to run for it. Okay, and bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there, and nothing. Um, okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. This slab and that slab, and now we have the general shape of our roof in place. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we have to decide what we want to do here because as you can see, this is very plain. Like the green terracotta doesn't have a whole lot of texture to it. So we need to decide if we want to use our cobblestone slabs here or if we want to use buttons. So I think right here we can go ahead and put our slabs in place up to about right there. We'll test them out. And over here we can test out our buttons. Uh, so we'll put those right there. We'll hop up here. We'll put these ones right there. And then we can kind of decide which we like better. Um, thing with the buttons though is you're not really going to be able to see them looking up and the sides are still super plain. So I'm gonna go ahead and veto that. We'll take those out. We'll bring these all the way across here. And, you know, just to, just kind of have it mirror that a little bit better. And thinking of it now, like you just seeing that, we have our buttons on the side right here. And I think that's gonna go ahead and break up this texture enough that it's gonna look decent. Um, now, we wouldn't have to break up the texture if we had a different type of block, say prismarine, that'd be nice. Uh, but believe me, I'm not gonna go find and take down an ocean monument just to build a roof. I think, I think this actually works. I'm just gonna need more buttons. All right, let's go have a look at this thing. I have my buttons now and they're in place. I should have broke those slime blocks. I thought about it, then I decided not to for some reason, um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is the general shape of our pumpkin shack. I think it's actually looking pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at it from this angle. Yeah, it's looking good from that angle, and I don't think we've gotten a good uh, good view of it from the front yet, or at least you guys haven't. Um, so we can have a peek at it from right up here, and you can see what we're dealing with. I think overall, you know, this is a this is definitely a good shape to work with. Uh, we just need to cut in some windows and some doors, and then we can start on the fun stuff. And chop. All right, I'm up here on the second floor. The first floor already has its holes cut in it, but I came up here and I saw this. We have pumpkins just sitting in this hopper, not moving. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about this before we uh, before we go any further. All right, well, that's a pretty quick and easy fix. We'll just break this water source right here. Uh, we just raise the item elevator up by one, put extra row of hoppers in there. That's also gonna help these chests fill in in a more organized fashion since, you know, they'll actually be going through hoppers and not just relying on randomness of the water. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna work. We did the same thing on this side. Hey there, buddy, why don't you, uh, why don't you put these pants on and, uh, oh, you look so much better. That is so much more appropriate, okay. Well, I swear, some people, they just have no modesty at all. And, uh, what, what are you looking? Okay. Uh, anyway, all I'm getting is pants for these guys. I don't know why pants are the only thing dropping, but I don't know. Uh, so if we come in here, oh, got a little jack-o'-lantern hanging up. Um, yeah, if we come in here, I did a little bit of work to the interior and just put some hay bales and jack-o'-lanterns around and put a little countertop in here. Um, we still need to put some stuff in these item frames. The interior is not done yet, but it's going to be very basic, which is why I went ahead and did it off camera, uh, just to give myself a little break from the, the exterior. Um, naturally we use jack-o'-lanterns as our light source in here. I mean, it makes sense, you know, considering we have basically unlimited pumpkins now. We also have unlimited charcoal from our wither farm, so yeah, it makes sense. This is gonna be our new main light source, so we don't have to give any more emeralds to our clerics to get glowstone. So, I mean, I think, I think overall, you know, it, it's basic, but it looks good. Um, so I think we're, oh, and I forgot to show you this. I forgot to show you this. We added a little, little countertop in here. So eventually we'll get a farmer in here. Uh, he can chill right there and we can come up to our window outside here in case we, you know, get, you know, other stuff we want to trade to him. We can just come up right to the window and we don't even have to go inside. That's going to be very convenient. But yeah, I mean, enough about, enough about all that. Uh, you know, I really want to go ahead and start working in some details. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put on some music and you know, let's, let's do this.
It is storm season in Luna. This is the second or third thunderstorm that's occurred while I was doing that time lapse. And I just, I had to call a stop to it. You know, I, I want to find a charged creeper. I've been trying to do that for several episodes now. You know, we get a lot of storms here and every time we get one, I kind of just stop what I'm doing and go out and look for, look for one. No luck yet. Did you see that? Did you see that hit the ground over there? There's a fire and everything. Wow. Okay. Anyway, um, you know, as far as uh, what we covered in that time lapse, there's a lot of details to the building, a little bit of landscaping. Um, and, you know, that's because we did a lot of structure building during the actual episode. And, you know, I kind of want to vary things up. So, you know, in other episodes, we might go heavier into details instead of structure. But I don't want to cover, like, every little thing for every little build. Because, you know, overall, I think that's going to get kind of repetitive when we keep doing that. So I'm going to try to vary things up a little bit. I've, this is like the perfect weather. Are, you're not charged. You need to get charged. Can we call some of the lightning down here, please? Uh, but no. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to have a quick peek around here real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and head on back to our farming district. All right. So despite the the massive amount of lightning we're having, we're not having any luck. No, no creepers are getting struck by lightning. You're not getting struck by lightning. You're not even getting struck by my arrows. Okay, there we go. <laughs> But yeah, um, I do have to make sure that none of our villagers got hit because, uh, oh, to have those guys turn to witches, that would be, that would be just hugely disappointing. Oh my, what, uh, what do we have here? Is that a, this is the, oh, no, 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 no. That was the first skeleton horse I've ever seen. I didn't know they did that. Okay, well, oh, this is, stop shooting the horses. Just, you Stop it! Stop. Oh, no! Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No! <laughs> I'm killing the horses. Okay, yeah, get off. Get off the horses. That's a, that's a great idea. Just get down. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. Okay, you go away and, uh... Okay, you... Okay, be careful with this one. Boom. Okay, alright. Wow. Wow. What just happened? What just happened? Hello? Hello guys, I am sorry about your friends. Um, that was an accident, but oh my gosh, you're beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Let me get some saddles real quick. Let me get some saddles up your right back. All right, you can take this. And I gotta say, I am I am just so disappointed in myself. My lack of composure during that little ordeal, like it, it caught me off guard. Like you know, and I can't believe I lost two skeleton horses. I oh, I didn't lose them. I actually like actively took them out. Oh man, why? Why? We could have had four. Oh, but you guys, you guys, you know, your health isn't that great, but oh man, I am so happy. I am so happy you're going to be joining us here. Uh, these guys are going to go in the pen with the, the other animals, and uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, let me do that real quick. Do, uh, do skeleton horses eat wheat? Because I need to heal these guys up. Um, nope, I'm just riding them. Uh, okay, so I guess not. I mean, they don't really have digestive systems, so maybe they don't eat. I don't know how regen works in these things, you know? I don't know. Do, do they, like, automatically regenerate health? Yeah, 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 because this guy's, uh, this guy's, like, regening as we speak, so... Okay, I think we're good here. Um, oh man. I am so happy to have you guys. I am so happy you're here. Well, that was different, unexpected, and awesome. Uh, these wheels, however, are not. These massive wheels are not too awesome. They're lacking in detail. Um, so I, I came up with like an idea, like how to add a little bit of detail to this. And what I was thinking was we could take out this centerpiece right here, okay? We could put a piston in there. That gives us those little metal endpoints, which, you know, could, could be kind of interesting. I also want to work some spokes in here. And I was thinking we could probably do something like that with the stairs. Um, you know, slabs will work on top, but they definitely wouldn't work on the sides because, you know, you can't put them in vertically. So I think this might be the best, well, the best I can think of anyway. If you guys know of a better way to do this, please let me know. I am all ears. Um, but I do think that this might give us a little something, just a, oh, no, no, no. You're going to hurt yourself if you try to roll around on that thing. Um, no, let's put this in here like that and we'll compare it to the other side. And I think that's actually going to work. At least, at least for me, we'll put a button on here uh, just to get a little, that little uh, extra in the center. And I mean, comparing those, I, I do, I do like that. 
I like that a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna do that the whole way around and then I'll be back with you guys and we'll do a quick tour of this place. Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the farm. And I think our wagon is looking much better with that shiny new set of wheels on it. I think that's looking much, much better. Um, I did a little bit of landscaping, just a little bit. Like the backyard's not landscape because, you know, it, it's such a pain to get all these seeds. Like we get them all from our little villager farm and it's just insufficient for producing the amount of seeds that we're going to need to actually do this area, the landscaping for this area. Once we get like an actual wheat field going on, uh, that's going to be much more productive, I think. But, you know, don't count on this happening anytime soon. Like we're heading back over to the Luna Business District, uh, you know, in a, in a couple episodes. And, you know, we're going to do some stuff over there. I just want to get this pumpkin farm, you know, up and running because it is necessary to do some stuff in the business district. And right now I just want to show you guys around stuff that you didn't see, like the, the second floor interior. It's just like a little plain bedroom with some hay bales and jack-o'-lanterns laying around, you know, just a place for me to hang out. Uh, so, I mean, there's, it's not, it's very simple, but it is furnished and, you know, I figured I'd show you guys because all these builds are going to be furnished, you know, the interiors of everything we do, it's going to be furnished. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to give you guys an idea of what, uh, what to expect over here. Something that I said earlier really bugs me now. Talking about the roof, like I said, prismarine might look better, like dark prismarine might look better because it's got that texture to it. Like I have nothing against uh, green terracotta, but prismarine might actually look better and I said you know it wasn't worth it for me to go find and raid an ocean monument just to get it for one roof that is not the mentality I want to carry forward it through this series so I think next episode we are actually going to go out find and raid an ocean monument get some dark prismarine put it up on the roof and see how it looks uh, originally episode 30 was going to be a wither fight I'll go ahead and tell you that now uh, but now it is going to be finding and raiding an ocean monument and finishing up jumping jack-o'-lanterns and you know I think I think that's you know I I think that's for the best uh, because we can always do the weather fight. We can just do it, push it back just a little bit, and, but we're still going to do it. So yeah, I think that is that is it for me today. Um, so if you like what you saw, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a lot to me. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Um, and yeah, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, though, I am Lobo. This is Bananas, <laughs> and we will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.